So the Cowboys beat the Saints in New Orleans tonight. Decent game. It's easy to win when you play against a garbage quarterback. Taysom Hill is garbage. He's not a real quarterback. He, I would compare him to Tim Tebow, but he's even worse than Tim Tebow. At least Tim Tebow could throw the ball somewhat. Taysom Hill, all he does is run the football. And you know that he's going to run the football. And we still played a pretty close game up until the very end with these guys. And I don't really like that. I feel like, for one, this game shouldn't have had even been close. For one, this game should have been done really in the first half. This game should have been a blowout. And I feel like if we had an elite quarterback, we would have blew this team out. Um, Dak had an okay game. That catch by Michael Gallup was a hell of a catch. I believe it was in the first quarter. That was a hell of a catch by Michael Gallup when he caught it in the end zone. And um, that was a hell of a catch. But Dak had an okay game. Um, still inconsistent. Some good throws here. Mixed in with some bad throws. He threw an interception. Um, Dak, Dak had a decent game. But I feel like this game shouldn't have even been close. We tried to keep New Orleans in the game. Towards the end of the game, we should have just been running the football. We still out there passing the football and we should be milking the clock in the end in the fourth quarter. And that doesn't make any sense to me. Like why, Kellen Moore, let me ask you a question. Why are you trying to pass the ball so much? Why are you trying to pass the ball so much? We should be running the football a lot more than what we do. We're trying to put the ball in Dak's hands too much. Like, you don't have to pass the ball every play. Run the football sometimes, especially when you got the lead. And it's still a 10-point game. It was 20 to 10 with about eight, I think a little less than that minutes left, about five, six minutes left. And we're still passing the ball. Run the ball, milk the clock, end the game. Call it a night. This game shouldn't even have lasted as long as it did. And speaking of running the ball, it's time to officially pass the torch to Tony Pollard. Tony Pollard should be our starter running back. The only reason why he's not our starter running back, I feel like, is because Zeke is getting paid so much. And really, the whole Zeke contract really never sat right with me anyway. So I felt like by him holding out, that showed us what he was really about. And that showed us that he really cared more about the money than playing for the Cowboys. And, and you know, I'm not going to get into that whole thing again, but that kind of showed me where Zeke was, was, was about. And obviously, after Zeke has been paid, he hasn't really been doing much anything. And I like Zeke. I like Zeke. I think Zeke is cool. But he really, he, he really put it in cruise control after he got paid. And yeah, he he runs he runs the ball hard. He runs the ball hard, you know, but he don't got that he don't got that elusiveness anymore. He don't got that speed anymore. Um and yes, it's good that he has power. He's a bell cow back. He has the power, but he don't have that that speed anymore. And I think it's time that we kinda pass the torch at least give Pollard more touches we need to give Pollard more touches Zeke has a banged up knee round right now he's limping um let Pollard get some more touches man that run that he had for a touchdown that was amazing that was amazing let Pollard get some more touches let Zeke rest while Zeke is resting his knee because he's not 100%. Let Zeke rest his knee a little bit. Let Zeke rest his knee. 
let's see what we can really do with Tony Pollard when he's getting a bulk of the carries. And, you know, in the off season, I say, take a look at maybe trading Z. You know, that's just what I think. But um, we win this, we won this game, but I'm still not 100% happy with what I saw. This game, again, should have been a blowout. We didn't play a real quarterback. Taysom Hill is garbage. I, if if he wasn't an ap athlete the way he is, he I, he definitely is not a quarterback. He's not a quarterback. They need to, you know, get a quarterback. Um, they need to trade trade for a quarterback. Get a quarterback off of whoever's sitting on the couch or whoever is a backup somewhere. You know, I, I I'm not a Saints fan. I don't care what they do, but. I just know Taysom Hill isn't a, a, a real quarterback. You can't win a game with a quarterback that's the only thing that he can do is run the football and complete a pass here and there. But the guy threw like three picks. And he's, he's he's just terrible as, at a, as a quarterback. Um, you know, he's fine when you want to do the uh, wildcat every now and then. But other than that, he's garbage. He shouldn't be behind anybody's center he should be a fullback um you know scat back whatever but definitely not a quarterback and um like i said I, i'm still not 100 percent happy with this win we got to run the football more Dak has to be more consistent with his throws and you got to really show us that you really are that dude, man, because even, even when we win, it's still, we, we still got some questions about you, man, because it's just, I, it's it, the inconsistency, it's the inconsistency, it's, I mean, you throw some good balls here and there, but you throw some bad balls too. And we only really winning against garbage teams. Let's be real. We only running running against garbage teams. And I, this should have been a dominating performance by Dak. And just and the running game. But this should have been a more dominating performance. This game should have been a blowout. And that's why I'm not 100% happy with this win. Of course, I'm glad we won, whatever. But we played a garbage team. The way we played today, if we played... This would have been a different game if we would have played against a different quarterback. If we played against a good quarterback, I'm not even going to say elite. If we played against a good quarterback, this would have been a different game. I feel like we really only really won this game because we played against Taysom Hill. That's how I honestly feel. I feel like we only won this game because we played against Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill is, he should not, like I said, if it wasn't for him being, he, he's a football player. He can play different positions. That's why he's in the league. He He's fast. He got the speed. And, and then my thing, you know the dude is running the ball. Why Why y'all still letting him get 10 yards here? Uh, you know, he, 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 he broke loose a couple of times. And y'all know he's running the football. I don't get that. He's not a threat in the passing game. You know he's running the football, and y'all still letting him get eight yards here, ten yards here. I'm like, come on, man. Like, you know he's running the football. That's his only skill as a quarterback is to run the football. He's not a threat in the passing game. And y'all still letting him break runs here and there. Um... I, I like I, I don't mind seeing Dan Quinn on the on the sideline. Um, you know he, he got a little different swag than Mike McCarthy. Um, 
I think Dan Quinn, I think Dan Quinn did all right. But Kellen Moore, you got to, you got to chill with the passion, man. You got to, you got, you up 10 points. About five plus minutes left on the clock. You need to milk the clock. It's like, and even Troy Aikman said, it's like, we trying to keep New Orleans in the game because you keep passing the damn ball and going three and out and they getting the ball right back. If we played against anybody else, this would have been a different game. If we played against any other quarterback that was a real deal quarterback, this would have been a different game. I'm telling you, this would have been a different game. But win is a win. On to the next game. And I'll be at the next game. I'll be at the Washington game in D.C. next week. I'm looking forward to it. And um, we'll see what we do against Washington. Um, as far as this season is, is concerned... I I have I have reservations as to how I really feel about this team. I'm not too high on them. Um I think there's a lot more to be desired. We leave a lot of room to be desired. We need more from Dak. Definitely need more from Zeke, but Zeke is not gonna be able to give us what we need. So we need to give Pollard some more touches. Um we need to clean up the play calling a little bit because right now things are going to get real serious. You got what you got two games against Washington. Um, the Giants this should be a dub. And you know, we got the game against Arizona. So we, we got some things that we need to work on. We got some things that we need to work on. We're definitely we're definitely gonna be one and done in the playoffs if we don't tighten up and clean up the things that we need to tighten up. But that's all from me. Y'all have a good night. Go Cowboys. See you next time.